loves welcome back to our channel Danny is not here today um, so this pillow is taking over for him until we are reunited in November so if you're new to this channel Danny is my dog and he's usually in my intros with me but he's not here right now so I have this pillow instead <laughs> anyway um, for today's video, I decided to do a what's in my art pencil case video because some of you said that you really love those types of videos and I showed you what was in my work pencil case. So today I'm going to show you what is in my everyday art pencil case that I use when I'm not working, like after work, when I come home and just do little doodles and stuff. So let's find out what is in it and what it looks like. So here is the pencil case that I am using and you might have seen it in my travel video. It's from Smiggle and it has this really cute glittery ice cream design on the front and a cute watermelon design on the back and it's super sparkly and I love it. And it has three compartments so it fits everything that I need in here. And also it smells like waffle cones <laughs> so yeah I just love it and I'm gonna move over to my light table so that I can film a better angle for you guys and show you what is in here hey guys so we're on my light table um, in the good old days when dinosaurs used to roam the Great Valley in the land before time, we used to use these to animate instead of Cintiqs because Cintiqs did not exist. Um, anyway, <laughs> thumbs up if you love the movie I referenced just then. I used to love that movie when I was little. Anyway, this is my pencil case, so let's see what is inside. In the first compartment here, I have a little bookmark that my friend Jamie gave me for my birthday a few years ago, and I really love it because it's one of my favorite characters, Harry McClary. I used to love those books when I was little. Um, they're just about this scruffy little dog, and his name is Harry McClary. <laughs> so I have that in there. And then I have this um, eraser and this one is interesting because you know how when you um, erase things all those little eraser shavings come off? Nothing comes off when you erase with this. Um, yeah, it's just really great. So it keeps things nice and neat and I love it. I got it from Sekaido in Japan, which is this huge art store. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just great. I love it. It's like one of my favorite places in the world. So I have that in there. And then I have this washi tape. It's just gold and it has like this sort of wave pattern on it. I use it for my bullet journal. And I also have this little portable glue thing. So it's um, just like glue and you run it along the paper and the glue comes off and you can stick things <laughs> onto paper. So yeah, um, this is really great. Great for traveling because it's so compact. And in this little section here, I have a whole bunch of um, spare color erasers because I like to use colored lead in my paces so um, yeah I just have extra little color erasers back in the old days again um, some animators would use blue pencil but I like using pink pencil so I get these because they erase the color um, again these are from Sakaido and I just love these they come in a few different colors and they're really cute and pastel so I have a whole bunch of them extra in here so that's what is in the front section of my art pencil case and then in the middle here we have some pens and paces um, this is the Bic uh, Z4 0.7 millimeter. 
I actually quite like the ink in this one because it's quite um, liquidy but just be careful it can smudge uh, so yeah but I really like it for line work and inking and they're pretty cheap you can get them from the uh, shoppers drug marts here so they come in packs of two and I have this one left because the other one ran out of ink and then I have this little eraser that I got from a kawaii box and you just push on the end and the eraser comes out so that's nice and handy and then I have this touch liner um, I usually use drawing pens that I got from Japan but the ink ran, ran out in all of those so I got this one instead um, it's not as good like I definitely prefer the drawing pens you can get them at loft and they just say drawing pen on the side and they're white with like black writing so yeah this is a 0.8 I like thicker pens for my line work so 0.5 or above and then we have two color Eno pieces. Um, this is what I do my sketching in. I love, love, love these. The pink are my favorite because I love the pink lead and I always have extras of these. Like I have one of these at work as well um, because I like to just use the eraser that's on the end here and they do run out pretty quickly. So yeah, I like having um, several of these. <laughs> And then in here I have the color eraser that I'm using at the moment, which is yellow. I love the pastel colors that they come in. And I also have some spare leads. Um, these are for the color Eno. They're 0.7 and they're pink. They do come in different colors, but the pink is my favorite because I just like um, how light it is, but you can also get a nice cleaned up line as well. So that is in there. And then I have three other pens. These are like my other non-black pens. So I have this metallic purple one. Um, I'm not sure where I got this, I can't remember. I think I bought it online, but yeah, it's just a metallic purple pen, so I like to use that for bullet journaling. And then I have this um, Sarasa Clip white pen. Um, yeah, it's just really good for making little white details on black. And then I have this silver gel pen that I think I just got from uh, Shoppers Drug Mart again. So yeah, it's just really cute for adding little sparkly details. So that is what is in the middle section of my pencil case. And then in the last section, I have um, my sketchbook. Um, this one is not my like fancy sketchbook. It's just one where I can do scribbles and doodles and stuff. Uh, I'm not going to show you what's in here because I'm doing the Inktober thing. So if you want to see my uh, drawings or whatever, you can follow Danny on his Instagram because that's where I'm posting them. But I got this from yesstyle.com and it's got a cute little kitty on it. Uh, yeah, it's just got like normal um, sketching paper in here and also some black pages as well. The paper is not as thick as I would like, like I like really really thick paper so I just use this for like scribbles and stuff. And then in here I have a few spare um, pacer leads for my color Eno pieces. And yeah, that is everything that is in my pencil case. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and let us know what other videos you'd like to see on our channel and we'll see you next time. Stay fluffy, bye.
Just where it was needed 